What is up, everybody? It is very much a cause for celebration. I just got to say thank you to you all. If you do not know, I just recently hit 7,000 subscribers, and it is all thanks to you guys. Thank you for all the people that have been sticking around in my content from 2020. I know it's been a crappy year because of COVID and stuff like that, but I've been trying to provide entertainment for you all and motivates me and helps me out to make more content when I see that people actually like my stuff. And keep heed. Just because I don't do your request a week after, a month later, or two months later, or five months later, doesn't mean I'm not going to ever do it. Like, just don't expect your request to happen a week later. This stuff takes a lot more time than you think. You probably, oh, it's only 20 minutes long. Oh, no, it takes longer than 20 minutes to make a 20 minute video, by the way. A 20 minute video can take a week to film. You know what I'm saying? Consider my schedule. I do have another job, but thank you guys so much. I just want to say it one more time. You guys totally deserve to get y'all heads boosted up because I wouldn't be here without you. More versatility coming to the channel. Of course, more Marvel in DC, but just stay tuned for the channel. And I got to say it one more time. Thank you again for 7,000 subscribers. Time to get to 8,000 subscribers and even 10,000 subscribers. And in the long run, 100,000 subscribers. Let's go. Join me on my journey and I hope you guys take it with me. Thank you for 7,000 subscribers. Now, let's get on to the video about Swamp Thing. Yes, everybody, you guys ready? I've been wanting to do a video about this guy for a while, but it was hard to get an outline on this guy because this guy is really complex. But I put together some stuff for y'all, so get your popcorn and sit back and relax. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the presentation and maybe learn something new. Swamp Thing. He's one of those characters that's easy to underrate because he doesn't have the most flashy feats, or he actually kind of does have flashy feats, but if you don't take the time to really analyze it deep, deep into it, then you might not think they're flashy. Like, for example, you're not going to see him blast in the star away and stuff like that but a lot of his lore suggests that that should be literally nothing when after this video is over he should convince you that if you wanted to you can destroy a planet you know just from too much lore and battle feats combat feats and stuff like that but before i go any further i gotta give a quick shout out to those that have donated to the channel appreciate it a lot helps out a lot let's find out how strong the swamp thing is the cream. To make it as simple as possible, the Swamp Thing is a plant with the memories of a man, aka he thinks he's a man. The man that he thinks he is is actually dead. Alright, in a secret facility in Louisiana, Swamplands, there was this scientist known as Alec Holland and his wife. They invented like this bio-restorative formula that would solve any nation's food shortage issues and stuff, so they actually had good intentions and stuff like that, but stuff likes to go sideways in fiction, and you gotta have a tragic backstory when you're a character in DC or Marvel, right? <laughs> Some thugs broke into their lab, knocked them out, planted a bomb in the facility. Alec woke up, the bomb exploded, and in flames, he ran into the swamp. His body was literally drenched in bio-restorative formula, and this affected the plant life of the swamp, imbuing it with Alec's consciousness and memories. And then he grew to like an avatar of the green. He resembles a man-made body, even though he doesn't really have no organs and stuff like that which I'm probably going to show in this vid. He is the latest. Actually, he's not the first time this has happened to people. He is the latest of a long line of Earth elementals created when the green needed protection. Yeah, it's like people are trading. for. He was chosen this round, I'm assuming, right? Nothing happens by complete accident in comics, right? Let's start this off by going into his physiology. Wherever there is like plant life, he's technically a part of that as well. It's implied here. Starting off the feet one crazy, right? See how he seems to be everywhere on the planet. It's kind of spooky when you really think about it. He actually has like no proper organs. They was like doing experiments on him. They were seeing that, yeah, he made himself have these stuff that he doesn't really need. Kind of incredible when you think about it, right? He doesn't need to breathe. Doesn't need a head. Yeah, yeah. This guy's really hard to kill. You're going to get that pattern as this video goes on. Doesn't need sleep. He can exist in a form of pure consciousness or merging with the green. Get more into the green later on. It's a big part of DC. You know, the white, the blue, the you know, it's crazy. He's the green. So Swamp Thing has a body. He has a brain. He has lungs. But due to him thinking he's a human, they don't. He has these things, but they don't really function because they're kind of useless. It's like his mind is a function of my astral body. It's like some, some spiritual type stuff. Like his brain is there, but he doesn't really need it to think. Just like he doesn't really need his body to function. 
I said I was going to get onto this later, but forget it. I'm just going to do it now. Let's talk about the green a little bit. Like I said, his body isn't really needed for him to think because he's kind of connected to an extraterrestrial source like the green. He can communicate with this thing known as the green. It states here, my mind slips into the green. He can even shape the green as he sees fit. He can do cool stuff like this and be gone. He can even tap in the green from light years away. Like he's literally just connected to all of it. Like, yeah, I wasn't, exa I wasn't exaggerating when I said he can connect from like light years away to communicate with different planets because he can do that he can even draw power from other planets his only weakness is like his own mental barrier battle feats are pretty cool a sentient swamp thing clone of him fight have worldwide collateral just because they're too powerful like bruh look at all this ruckus they're causing this is gross <laughs> let's talk about some versatility he can actually teleport folks away thanks to him being able to like teleport them i guess through the green Using the green, he can travel to pretty much anywhere on Earth he needs to. The green is so complex, he even forced his way into the freaking afterlife. Okay, I'm, I'm, I am so done. He even breached these magical barriers of a magician. Magical people, even y'all ain't safe. Because he's kind of mystical slash scientific. Teleportation, kind of like a resurrection feat. That was like the special device made to kill him. But it didn't really work because he just transferred to another body. My blue heaven. This actually happened upon the resurrection. In order to face the most recent avatar of the rot, like basically his opposite, like his version of Doomsday, <laughs> he created his own primary body. He'd literally be planet hopping, interfered with the Zeta Beam. He could even travel through dimensions by changing his vibrational frequency. And another occasion of teleporting around the world, because plant life is cool. France, Greece, Vietnam. There was this one time he accidentally traveled through time. In one of his many battles, he had to retreat. He actually accidentally went through time. Like, what? He's that connected to the green? Like, what? He travels back in time to 1872 here. Even his astral form showing him going through time. Like, it's legit. Ain't that freaking crazy. Just hopping. Can kind of communicate with souls. One day you be seeing him hanging out with Constantine a lot. They really match up. He was able to free Abigail's soul from her body. And even go as far as take control of it. It states here, I am not here to rekindle our passion, my love, but to free your troubled spirit so that you might experience my world. And she said, you are, I am, I mean, you can do that. I don't see why not, as long as I remain behind you to house sit your body. Then all it should take is a slight readjustment of your human wavelength and you are free. That's freaking insane. He can even speak to mother boxes. He converted himself into an electrical signal. Okay, what? That's freaking crazy. He accessed and took control of a secure network. Phone line. No, I'm not freaking kidding. He literally took control of a phone line in a secure network. Like, do you see the digital stuff? And do you see him in the digital stuff? You know what I'm saying? It's easy to just call that his astral form. Like, it's just a spiritual form you can't really touch because he doesn't really need a physical body anyway. His astral form can harm beings like Superman, knocks him out of the air in this occasion. His astral form was even able to enter Superman's eyeball and mess him up badly, like blind him. I honestly hope this guy is never in a death battle. Like he literally cannot die. Like it's literally impossible because he literally doesn't need a physical body. He's just technically an astral form. Like you see his body over here, but he's technically just the astral form that just floats around the universe really. If we're being real, he can even create hallucinogenic dust from his body. His body he doesn't even need. He was able to calm down and take control of Killer Croc by using pheromones. It's that freaking simple. He literally brought a plague of insects down on Gotham. Due to him being a spiritual being, he can pretty much do all the technical stuff. Like, we've seen him go on phone lines and networks. So, obviously, he's going to have some telepathic stuff. Like, being able to do some metaphysical stuff, like, literally go inside of Aquaman's mind. I mean, just, you know, astral projection stuff. All that stuff is in that same neighborhood. Through sheer will, he was able to remove the ghost of the Antichrist from his body. I cast you out. And he can even kind of read minds of people touching the green. He has a form of power bestowal. Like, this is freaking awesome. Like... He can make edible plants that temporarily grant the ability for someone to see it like how he sees. So if he was trying to explain something to me, he can be like, oh yeah, here's a fruit I just made, eat this. And uh, yeah, now you can see how I see the world in a complex nature. And yes, he is indeed capable of psychic communication without even having to open his mouth because he's not even really a physical being. This is basically just an avatar. His true self is like technically just an astral projection type of thing. I mean, but he chooses to be where he wants to be. Avatar is his main body he wants to be at. But if this body gets destroyed, he can be like, oh. 
I guess I just have to make a new one out of the green, you know? He's even accessed Constantine's memories before. This dude was able to get the memories of a dead child, right? And put them into an actual fruit. And that's awesome. His awareness is insanity. He's always aware of what's going on around him and his swamp and the green and even can sense what's going on around the globe, can sense all plants around the globe, can even sense the green earth on a molecular level, can sense all the life on earth, all at once and look through all their eyes. It's literally like some omnipresent stuff. Like he can literally see what's going on all over the place at the exact same time. It does feel like omnipresence, wherever the green is, he is. I'm gonna read this right here for you. Upon this remote glacier, I have taken form so that I may better survey my domain. First, I run my mental fingers through the thick carpet of forests covering 40% of the Earth's surface, from the thin strands of coffiners in the Arctic zones to the dense rainforest of the equator, I share in silent triumph. Simultaneously, I am unfolding a long league upon league of endless wildflower meadows standing tall in the glorious sunlight, breathing in carbon dioxide, exhaling pure clouds of oxygen, and I am the lungs of the planet, gasping and quaking in the chlorophyll ecstasy of photosynthesis. I exist in oceans too, bulging and rolling with the single volume of liquid that envelopes all but the highest points of land. Flexing with the tides, I am soft and pliable under the gravitational touch of my barren lunar sister. Billowing in the sky as fleecely strata or water vapor, pushed effortlessly in the delicate swirling patterns by the kiss of the winds. A tide of peace in me looks out from every multi faceted insect eye and more and more as you can read like that's crazy is a good detective because he can literally gain information from dead plant matter makes him easy for locating anybody on the planet like in this occasion here working with constantine he can even sense when people enter the earth whether it be from orbit or even other planes i'm just getting started okay what about battles what about how does he fight you like does he just shoot plants at you all day and stuff he's actually more fun to watch when it comes to battle than you probably think. He's not just a guy that just shoots roots at you all day. Let's dive right back into most swamp thing. So what if I told you he has aerokinesis? You're probably like, what? It happened, one of his many abilities. He has this form of attack. He even seems to have some form of like just straight up earth, like not necessarily plant, like just earth abilities at this point. Swamp Thing is one of those characters, he did go through some quite a bit of evolutions through his time in comic books, through his adventures, so getting stronger, stuff like that. Possesses an area of land, like no, I'm not, like look, like this big old area of land he's possessing, the green baby, can even cause an earthquake. That was even one point in his career, he gained mastery over the earth it's, itself, even created him a little servant out of stone. He can like kind of turn it in water, and even becoming the clouds in this situation. Like he literally made his giant body of water, guys. He can freeze blood inside a person. Here, I could freeze the blood in your veins if I wish, suck dry your cranial fluid, or burst a geyser in your frail black heart. Just a lot of different ways he can attack you. He attained mastery of all the water on Earth. Avatar creation, like be able to form multiple bodies out of water. He used the river as his weapon one time to tear up some vampires because of the water was getting shot at him that fast. I showed this earlier. You know, he's like one of the avatars of the green, but there was a time he was even able to travel through the blue, what Aquaman be using. Travels through the melt. Swamp Thing has quietly learned a lot of things from the parliament of trees, like the other elemental beings that, that took up his mantle before. He was even able to communicate through flame, kind of like some pyrokinesis. Okay, how much? how many elements can he control now? And he could summon light. Are you freaking kidding me? This dude keeps on making gains. He's gotten so powerful at one point in his career. He gains mastery of the sun and all the fire on earth. That's why it says here, you embody the four elements. Oh, no surprise. Of course, I got to show him do some plant stuff like being able to create a house. Of course, he can do cool stuff like this, right? He can develop his body to have spikes, making his weapons even more dangerous to fight with. Literally created a garlic spray. If he wants to, he can shrink to the microscopic level, cool form of size alteration, and he can even grow as big as a skyscraper or the size of a small mountain. Imagine battling something this big. Another occasion of getting super big. You probably got tired of this already in this video, but yeah, obviously, since he has an astral form, he can like create different avatars of his body. That's really like an extension of him because he don't really need his body in the first place. So, you know what I'm saying? Another occasion here, making a series of new bodies. He fought this army of the gray. 
with his different bodies. You know, the gray, basically the opposite of the green. It's like the opposition of him, you know, kind of like the ride a little bit, you know, it gets a little confusing. You get an idea of his strength by the people he fights. He fought the demon named the Monkey King, a being that can fight Etrigan. Forget that. Swamp Thing's actually fought Etrigan to give you an idea of his power. Etrigan is no freaking joke. He doesn't have the most flashy feats when it comes to busting stuff up, but he does fight like people that fight Superman, so... I mean, he beat up Edge again. Don't forget that Edge again has fought Lobo before and kind of messed him up. Kind of toyed with him in this particular occasion. Yeah, Edge again. Fighting Lobo for a very long panel. Not to mention he got in a slugfest with Superman himself. Even punched him to the freaking moon. Yet Swamp Thing had no problem fighting Edge again in just raw strength. He beats this being known as Arcane. Somebody that's really, really freaking powerful. Yeah. A guy that's possessing the body of a reality warper. He even beat the Avatar of Earth before in a fight. Isn't that freaking epic? It was a war though. In a panel to panel fight. Beat Swamp Thing here, but look at his leg. Feast is being known as Sargon. By the way, his astral form moves at the speed of light. Superman stated it here. He was able to restrain pre-crisis Superman. Pretty strong. Can keep up with people like Edrigan in speed. Do I have to even show regeneration feats? Like, he can just regenerate, you know, when he gets injured. His durability isn't all that. He can just heal instantly. So, it's like his durability doesn't really have to be all that. For example, he can be hurt from heat vision by soups. Psychic blast from Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman can do psychic blast. He kind of can eat though. I told you, since he really doesn't need his body doing, getting stabbed at him ain't gonna really do too much. For example, rifles and pistol fire don't phase him really. He's fought an amped Grundy before. Grundy is literally the definition of inconsistent, so it's no way to tell what level he was at here. But he seemed pretty strong to do that swamp thing, but he still was able to take a few attacks from him. That was even the time he even allowed Batman to punch him just to trap him. Poor Batman. More example of his strength is that he was kind of able to restrain Aquaman in their battles. I know I keep showing the same battle. Yeah, you see kind of restrains him. That freaking strength. Plants can get pretty freaking strong. Some of the heaviest hitters of the league. Tears apart the Monkey King. Zeta to pick up this hovercraft. He was able to lift literally the entire castle of Camelot because he can control plants and that's awesome strength. He can quickly destroy this factory because that's light work to him. Toxic waste die. To further prove he's in the heavy hitter league with the big dogs, I got a video about Captain Adam on my channel, so please take that video out to see why this is impressive. Not only was he able to hold down Captain Adam, but actually able to knock out Captain Adam. Superman tier being. Okay, so after all this, I hope you still ain't disrespecting Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing has went through a lot of different evolutions. You basically got base Swamp Thing, and then he basically became a god thanks to the Parliament of Trees and stuff. So the Parliament of Trees actually had like some agenda. And also the other elemental parliaments had an agenda with Swamp Thing that included the destruction of mankind and the remaking of the earth and stuff like that, right? To prevent that from happening, the heavenly power called the word one of the aspects of the presence, right? Destroyed the parliament, but not until they had passed on all their power to Swamp Thing. So the parliament had passed on their power to Swamp Thing. Like he, That's when Swamp Thing became godlike, if I'm interpreting that correctly by the parliament in base state i would say he's in the superman tier based on the etrigan fight based on the captain adam fight and the feet and in the fact he can hold down superman not super flashy but yeah it's a battle feat i think those count for something right i mean for pete's sake swamp thing was able to use acids to calm down and raise superman and make him go to sleep like instantly KOing him like this guy you know the same guy that can like literally be immune to all diseases and stuff because he's superman but the green there was a time he got his body completely destroyed by the anti-monitor right but his essence still survived the freaking abstract level being you know what down here it says i saw his body completely destroyed by the wave of antimatter but his essence lived merging with the green with whatever life this planet possessed he took root and form swamp thing's body died but he still lived he's been described of being one with the world I am everything. Being able to control different elements. He's like been consistently shown to have control over a lot of different stuff. Earth and air, fire and water, flesh and root. Finally united. And at last, I know who I truly am. I was Alec Collin. I am the Swamp Thing and I'm back. Yet again, earth, air, fire, water. The whole of creation, he said, is made up of these elements. Swamp Thing is no freaking joke. Some of this stuff I showed earlier, but I'm going back over it again real quick. He easily warped and remade the entirety of the green. Remember this little puppet I showed you earlier? Like, yeah, it's it gets crazy. With a hand gesture, might I add. The green is a metaphysical realm separated in its, like, own little place. It is connected to all timelines. 
and connected to separate timelines, the green is. It says here, the green touches all realms, all spaces. This right here is probably a good example of what I mean by metaphysical realms separated. I'm just gonna read this for you. Things are very different in the green. I have become so accustomed to traveling through it, using it as an easy means of transplanting my consciousness from one place to another that I forget not nearly a convenient highway. Every plant that grows every form of vegetable life on the face of earth is part of the green. It is a vast collective consciousness, non-sentient yet self-aware. Isn't that crazy? It's like a realm. Oh yeah, he's fast enough to fly across a galaxy. He's just that fast. Swamp Thing has limitless potential, <laughs> right? He is more than just the green, even though, you know, DC went overboard with the Swamp Thing. Like, he's supposed to be the green, an embodiment of green and stuff, but he can literally, like, manipulate the blue and travel through other stuff like fire, the melt. You know, he's part of being known as the rot, you know, his arch nemesis. You know, the rot is something to not be messed with. Yeah, he's pretty versatile. Can summon lightning, can summon fire. He's not just a person that's just going to make spiked blades or roots to fight you. Yeah, astral form, because he's kind of spiritual in nature. Can accidentally travel through time because of the green. It's like a doorway to basically another dimension. How strong do you think Swamp Thing is? I would say, like, on average, he is probably, like, physical strength-wise, he can hang with the top tiers. Like, Lobo, Etrigan, physical strength-wise, who are in the Superman ranges of raw power. We all know... How strong Lobo is, because I got a video about him as well. And you we know he's in the Superman -ish tier as well. So Swamp Thing be able to fight Edrigan and Lobo and characters like that pretty much proves it. And plus, not to mention Swamp Thing has locked blows with Superman himself. So that adds up, right? What do you guys think? Do you guys think Swamp Thing is too overpowered? Do you think they should just let him be able to do stuff with the green other than fire in the melt and the blue? What do you think? Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Respect Swamp Thing. <laughs>